Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for March 23rd, 2018. Hope you're all having an excellent week in the financial markets. We're going to be taking a look at a lot of really great trading opportunities. Uh, I'm going to start here with energy. We've talked a lot about the utilities recently. Uh, Omeros Corporation, so some biotech, basic materials with Encore Wire. We've got Mattel Toys and also Tenant Healthcare. Uh, but let's go ahead. We'll start here in NRG. And what we have are the daily bars and candles going against the price data here. And, you know, earlier, really several, several months ago, we had a big sell-off in utilities, but things have turned around. And what we have against the price data here in NRG is a black line and a blue line you see going across these daily bars and candles. Now, the black line is a actual simple moving average. So really acts as a good summary of what's already occurred in a given market. But what we're able to compare that to is this blue value, which this value is generated via the artificial intelligence and neural networks found within the software. This is a predicted moving average to let you know where prices are expected to go next. So when we have that cross between that blue and black value, suggests the market trend is now up. Now, in addition to the overall trend direction, which we certainly wanna make sure we're on the right side of the market, uh, we also have this predicted neural index, and this is an extremely accurate indicator. Uh, it can be green or red, very, very simple, but it's only looking ahead two trading days or two candles. So very, very short term and helps you manage the position over time. And really lastly, what you're given every single trading day before the market uh, uh, trading occurs is you've got a predicted range. So a predicted high and a predicted low. So you can go ahead and set your limit orders for entries, set profit targets, and really just be much more of an efficient trader in the marketplace. Uh, but here in NRG, you see we get these crossovers between these values, neural index up at a one, suggesting it's time to start buying into this market. The trend is now decidedly up. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over again to those predicted high and low values. So you can see how accurate these updated forecasts are as you get involved in a market. So what we see here is these are all the actual predictions against the trading day you know, before they occurred. You get these values ahead of time and then the actual data fills in. So you get almost a perfect entry here at the beginning of this trend. We go a little bit lower on this day, but look how the predicted highs and lows adapt over the course of the trade to keep you buying into uptrends and making good trading decisions. So if you're buying at or near these predicted lows, targeting these predicted highs, you're doing quite well. But what you really need to understand is the trend is up, uh, depending on you know what that exact trading strategy is. If you're a trend trader, a day trader, whatever you're doing in the market, make sure you have these levels to again, guide those decisions. You see this market's up 20% over the past 22 trading days and getting almost a perfect entry into this market, you know, well down below $25 per share. So. Uh, very nice opportunities and a lot of these things breaking out uh, across the different utility stocks, which you've really covered at length over the past uh, few months here. Omeros Corporation. Okay, so here the exact same thing. We get a, a blue line crossing above the black line, that predicted moving average, moving above the actual moving average. We can see the values here, 1007 moving above 1006. And again, suggesting look towards your predicted high and low ranges, look towards your neural index to understand where that short term trend is taking the market, where you can look to get involved in a trending stock. So we bring up those predicted highs and lows, take a look at these and you see predicted low hit here. These values adapt moving forward to help you understand what are the ranges that you should expect if you wanna become a buyer in this market. You see about two, three, four, five really great entries into this market. This market going much higher on news, market trading up around 16 to $18 per share on a really great breakout here. So if you wanna get involved in the markets, you know, before this information you know, really hits the markets and volatility really increases, you want to be utilizing these tools to set your positions, limit your risk and exposure to the market, and really participating. You see this market trend has lasted for uh, you know, not a terrible long amount of time here. We've got uh, 11 trading days ago telling you, look, this market's going to start moving up, but the market already up 16% going into the trading day. So really nice opportunity there. And a lot of these smaller biotech stocks doing very, very well recently and opening up some great trades uh, and opportunities there. Uh, here, Encore Wire in the basic material space, uh, crossover to the upside. You see that predicted moving average suggesting the market's going to start trending higher. Your neural index very strongly uh, up at a one or a green configuration here. 
And again, that suggests look towards your predicted ranges, but these things are going to update. You wanna be really adapting with those changing market conditions, knowing where you can add to your position, be very strategic with that overall trading style. Uh, but you see here, predicted low, you're hitting here on this trading day, two really great entries before this gap up. But then you see after even that big expanse in volatility, these predicted levels doing a great job at updating and keeping you buying at very, very efficient price levels so that you're not taking out you know, undue exposure to the market, but also making more money on the upside as this trend continues and things go higher. So another really great opportunity here, we see this market up significantly, certainly from these you know, initial predicted low levels, uh, over 20%, about 22.5% or $10 per share on Encore Wire there. And you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine entries where you can be adding near position with profits, really great trading opportunities. But you know, the markets are weak. There are some markets out there that are you know, really suffering and doing quite poorly. Uh, here we have Mattel, so a really great area of the market if you want to come in and look for opportunities to short. Very clean crossover between your predicted moving averages. You see neural index down at a zero. And look how often the neural index remains at that zero configuration, saying, look, over the next 48 hours, two trading days, you want to hold on to those short positions. And of course, it's the same thing of bringing in those predicted high and low levels and using that as guidance to know where you want to be taking positions on this market as this trend continues lower. And you see several positions within this downtrend, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven entries on the downside as far as hitting those predicted high levels and constantly hitting against those predicted lows with some uh, really, really violent gaps in between there where you can be holding on to your position because you understand, look, the trend is down. Uh, that blue line remains below the black line and you therefore want to hold on to a short position. So a really great place to be short the market in combination with some of your other long positions. You got Energy, Amaros, Encore. So great places to be going long, but you can always hedge your portfolio. You see down 22 trading days, 23% or almost $4 per share on a stock that's now uh, down you know, below $13 a share. So uh, just a really significant move there and certainly still trending. You just see a tremendous amount of weakness here uh, really over the bulk of this move, just over the past several weeks uh, saying, look, stay, stay short uh, in stocks like this here. Uh, tenant healthcare here, uh, exact opposite though. You know, crossover to the upside, uh, really going back into the month of February, saying, look to get long this stock. Here's a place where you can take those long positions. But of course, look towards your predicted ranges. That's what's going to guide you and, uh, again, keep you minimizing your risk. Stay very efficient as far as your execution of that trading style. And it's the exact same thing. You know, where you want to be accepting uh, entries into the market and you know, especially over periods of time like this where the trend is up, you wanna get involved, but the neural index is saying, look, wait for weakness in the market, wait till you get down to these predicted low levels, and rather than buying on these trading days, you get a really great entry down here, market trends up higher, more entries as the market moves higher and higher. So uh, again, you know, another six or seven entries in this overall uptrend where you've got that you know, several opportunities in several areas to go ahead and get involved in the trade and shoot towards those profit targets to make some money on this uptrend here. Uh, this market up over 30% uh, in Tenneth Healthcare just in the past 26 trading days. So really fantastic trading opportunities uh, really to be found all throughout the markets. But of course, you need to have the right tools so you can improve that timing, get involved with these really great trends as this volatility really starts to move things around uh, throughout the stock. So uh, once again, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, this again has been our Hot Stocks Outlook for March 23rd, 2018. Best of luck to you traders out there in the financial markets. Thanks again, and bye for now.